Okay, let's see. We are right about here. I can mark it up as we go. Check out that tower. Bet you could get the lay of the land from up top. Maybe. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for a sob. Perfect. Not that I'm too worried about him, though. You should be. We won't have the advantage of surprise again. I don't think he's expecting much from you. Wait, was that a compliment? That, that sounded like a compliment. These guys are idiots, but a sob is... We just need to stay the hell away from them. Never understood the appeal of people like Asav. Easy. He finds men who are weak and offers them power. Gives them purpose. Purpose? Sounds more like bullshit to me. Where are you going? Want to climb it with me? I really want to, but uh, someone should keep watch for ourselves, forces. Good call. <laughs> Up and away. <sighs> Easy does it. All right up there? So far, so good. Here's our three symbols. Well, that took less time than I expected. Shiva's axe. Let's see here. Aim right at those Hoysala ruins. It's an old fortress tucked into the mountainside. I'll just mark that on the map with an axe. And behind door number two. I wonder what that could be. For future reference. Let's see what's behind the trident door. Another old fortress, just beyond those waterfalls. Trident mark on the map for you. Last but not least, the Bodor. And another old fortress, sitting smack dab in the middle of the lake bed. I'll jot a bow on the map in that spot. Whoa! Guess I should have looked for a call button before climbing up. Worth a con? And then some. Found the three symbols. Really? Yep. 
Each one was pointing towards a different fortress. Those will be the best places to look. Perfect. How'd you get tangled up with the Sarve anyway? Purpose? Rather not go into it. He certainly seemed to have a thing for you. Don't remind me. Proved useful at the time, but... Yeah. Uh, do tell. Rather not. Maybe over drinks? Not enough alcohol in the world. Right, you're the military expert. What's the Saab's strategy here? He spread out his men, hoping to stop us in our treks. Not what I would do. So what would you do if you were a Saab? Besides lose the beard, hang back, let you do the heavy lifting, then swoop in and grab up the task once you've done all the hard work. Devious? Practical. Mitigates a lot of risks. Lucky you're on my team. Yeah, you are. I'm a little surprised the sword's not doing the same thing. Maybe his expert knows more than we think. Right. All the more reason to wrap this up quickly, then. One of Asav's trucks. Looks clear out here. Interesting circular motif. Like the disc. <laughs> Check it out. It's Ganesh's trident. Matches the symbol in the tower. Ganesh. Remover of obstacles. That's very good. Oh, well. Figured if we were looking for his task, I should read up on him. Okay, well, he's a good one to know. You pray to him when you start something new or need to clear your mind of doubts and worry. Let's keep this quiet as long as we can. Copy that. Movement. Make sure it's nothing. Nothing over there? Are you there? One down over here. We have company. Search every inch of this place. Must be close.
think that's a lot of them. You all right? I'm fine. Apart from working for a reckless treasure hunter. Okay, where to next? Good question. Let's explore. What do you suppose this place was? Hard to say. A fortress? Not the right layout for... Hmm. Okay, that's not it. No, this. What's the trick here? What? Look like a button. Yeah, I just wanted you to have a go at something. What's this? That's a good sound. One of the spokes on the wheel just turned around. Huh. The locks are retracting when I turn the wheels. So then there's probably five in total. Four to go, then. That's two. You. <laughs> Only one left. Okay. You did it. Not damn right, I did. Oh, come on. Looks like we're going under. Radio. <laughs> ah, here we go. Well, looky here. What are you willing to bet? Told you it's some kind of key. Gold star for you. Now let's see what it does. What is it? Ancient horse large jigsaw puzzle? Of 
course, I'm making a trident. It's Ganesh. Hello, sir. Now what? Now I guess we turn this crank and see what happens next. You think it's safe? You know that treasure hunting is not a good gig for the risk of us, right? Neither is being a mercenary. Difference is when I pull the pin on a good night, I'll know what's going to happen next. My way's much more fun. <laughs> Did you hear that? You feel that? Fraser, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm. look at that. Holy hell. There's a massive relief carved into the side of that mountain. And you were worried that we were going to turn that crank and die. Guess it's good I've got an archaeologist's daughter with me. It must have been fun growing up, eh? It had its moments. I learnt a lot. Voisalar Empire was kind of his thing. Took up a lot of his time, though. Me, if I go digging for treasure, I better make a buck or two. Oh, sure. I don't take big risks without a good payday. I imagine so. Like running an army, huh? That's a big responsibility. Second nature. It's my father's company. He retired, I took over. Family business? Mm. Made a real mess of it. Well, you should know. Heard you and those Drake brothers are close. Yeah, well, it's a conversation for another time. So, where to next? There's the fort marked with an axe on the mountain there, and that fort marked with a bow in the lake bed. I suppose I should have asked about the Drakes before I took the job. Not much to tell. I know Nate pretty well, Sam less so. He seemed to just appear out of thin air. Last one back to the car buys dinner. I brought MREs. You're no fun. <sighs> Fraser, I we're coming real yes. yes. We shall see. Hello! Brothers, where are you? You see? Do a sweep. <laughs> Ross and Fraser might still be here. What? <laughs> Anything? Do you hear me? I have a bad feeling. What the shit? Hey, look up there! this time. You handed yourself on, all things considered. All things considered? That's high praise coming from you. It is.
Mountains and make them. Yes and yes. Hey, just so you know, Nathan Drake is no longer in the picture. You don't have to worry about him. I had my concerns. Why do you accept my offer? I'm not one to look a gift horse in the mouth, especially with everyone wanting to see me fall. I hear that. But on the plus side, oh, there's a plus side? Oh, if people have low expectations, it's much easier to take them by surprise. As far as I'm concerned, this business is tough enough on your own. You have to take any advantage you can. You always worked alone? Mostly. How old were you when you started? Young. Learned quickly enough I needed to let people think they were... Sorry, I need a moment. Wait, what? All finished. The turret is set up. I couldn't find the manual. Manual? This is exactly what I've been seeing. This gear's outdated. We need real weapons if we're supposed to be a proper army. What we do have. Isn't as I'm always saying that the poor shouldn't be great. Shit! Please close it up! Please close it up! They were going over there! Okay, let's go! Have anything there? No, I don't. Don't recognize this. It's not one of the three symbols. Think it's worth our time? Never say no to a chance to make some extra cash. Hmm. That wall looks fragile. Some kind of Hoysala token. After all that, you find anything? Just a token of some kind. Old Hoysala thingy. Think we need it? Need? Probably not. Want? Definitely. <laughs> all right. And we were talking about... Oh, right. Learned quickly enough I needed to let people think they were getting their way, and then I could get the upper hand. Too subtle for me. I always preferred the direct approach. Yeah, whatever works, I say. Give me a second. I can wait. <laughs>
time to go. We might have company ahead. Look up there. Parashurama's bow. Spotted this on the tower, too. So, Parashurama... Parashurama? Parashurama. Right. Who was he again? Okay. Six avatar of the god Vishnu. A fearsome warrior. <laughs> this should do the trick. Okay. I should have brought my gloves. <laughs> nice to be out of that shithole, finally. I was starting to think the boss was all talk. Hey, who's there? Oh. It's free! Oh. Hey, too! That's it. We're clear. Probably a lure to the others. Ugh. Can't be helped. Come on. On the mountain! 
Here come the others. You boys really don't want me shooting from down here. It's over. Okay. We're all clear. Won't be the last of them. It was a big truck parked out front. We'll keep our eyes open. We'd better. We'd walk right on the cliff. You do have a sense of humor. <sighs> Would have preferred a head start over assault. Not much we can do. Besides, doesn't matter who starts, only who finishes. See that? Looks like another faucet. Let's find a way up. Follow me. Considered. How are you so relaxed? Didn't you hear those gunshots? I did. You worry too much. Our brothers are trained by Asab himself. Uh, I'm keeping my safety off, just in case. Mine was never on. Clear? We're clear. Good. Good to be clear. Let's press yeah. on. That's what I was going to say. Some kind of mechanism. Here we go. Perfect. That should do it. at least. Sorry. I'm sure you can find your way over here. Oh, definitely. Figured you'd want to take the easy way over.
Beg your pardon? Doing all right? I'm fine. Just don't get started without me. Sure. Wouldn't dream of it. Okay, guess this isn't the way in. There you are, having fun. Just like the monkey bars in primary school. I'd say this looks safer <laughs> than the playground at my school. <laughs> uh, nearly there. <clears throat> Made it. I'm impressed. You're impressed. I'm tired. Let's get this done. I'm guessing it Sharama. Right. Let's turn the water on. Well, well. What's to say it's not different this time? What if it's fire or something? You're messing with me. I'm totally messing with you. Here we go. Mm -hmm. oh. well, I'm a little disappointed it wasn't fire. Another waterfall. Yeah. It's two out of three now. Also, I went to an absurd amount of trouble to hide the tusk. Well, the tusk was the symbol of Hoysala dominance, representing their wealth and their might. A nice trophy for the Persians. Yeah. My dad always thought that the tusk was something even greater, though. What? Your dad was after the tusk? Oh, my dad was obsessed with it. He spent every day and night researching it. All our money he wasted on fruitless expeditions. Heard that one before. Ugh. So what came of it? I don't know. <laughs> well, he sent me and my mum away. He said it was no longer safe. And off to Australia we went. <laughs> and now here I stand on the outskirts of Halibadu. That's pretty funny. Last stop, the fort embedded in that mountain. That'll be the one with the axe. At least your accent makes sense now. Yeah. Fraser's not exactly an Indian surname either. It was my mum's. Let's find a way to get back down to the car. Sounds good. by the mountain left. Indeed. <clears throat> Makes more sense why it solves after the tusk now. Figured he just wanted the money, like us. He'll use it to rally people to his cause, wavered in the government's face. Just like all the other times. This has happened before? Oh yeah. Ever since the young king lost to the Persians, everyone's wanted to lay claim to it, to this land. And here I thought we were just going on a treasure hunt. We are. Let men like Asav fight over it. It's none of our concern. 
Fighting wars was my concern for a time. Good point. But you did it for the cash. Usually. What about when you work for Assad? <laughs> Definitely a cash grab. Hardly worth the trouble. Ouch. Why do it then? Needed to establish my rep, eh? Figured I'd stop with the worst of the bunch. Nowhere to go but up after that. Beautiful out here. Is this your first visit to India? Yeah. Not a lot of perks in this line of work, but travel is definitely one of them. Where have you been? Ah, uh, where haven't I been? Whichever question works for you. Well, I haven't been to the States. Really? Yeah, well, the stuff I'm looking for is usually old, right? The US was only founded a couple of hundred years ago. True. What about you? Where do you want to go? Iceland. Nice choice. Beautiful there. Oh, hold on. Hey, watch it. I think Asov's men have that side too. Hey, look. Shiva's axe. Man. Glad I climbed that tower, eh? Shiva. He was the god of destruction, right? Yes, but maybe not in the way you're thinking. So not throwing things up? Definitely not. Once more, with gusto. <laughs> there we go. Take care of this one. Okay. Hey. Hey. I know how to drive. Sure, in reverse. You're welcome. Okay. In we go. <laughs> ah, Salah versus the tiger. Seem like a fair fight. Salah won, actually. He was protecting his guru and killed the animal in one blow. It's where the name Hoy Salah comes from. Hoy, meaning strike, in their language. Well, I'll learn something new today. There'll be a quiz later.
They've left their climbing gear. They should come in handy. Correction. Our climbing gear. Yeah. Okay, slightly deep, but I'm good. Good. Let's keep moving. Oh my. What the hell is this? We'll find out soon enough. Okay, let's see what this does. <sighs> that statue moved. Well, let's see how this goes. Well, I'll be going to hell. That's elaborate. <laughs> oh shit. That you moved again. Oh, for goodness sake. Three statues, with two different symbols now. A star and rings. They're all Hoysala sons. I like Yeah. 
fresh air. Let's make an apple. Mm. Both the middle and inside pieces seem to move the outside ring. Either. Come on, let's get this over and done with. Yep. Whoa! Shit! See? I told you it was dangerous. You hurt. Just my dignity. <sighs> Here we go. There'd be water. Now that's three. You know, you're pretty good at this whole treasure hunting thing. I'm a quick study. Mm. One question, though. I reckon that you could pretty much do anything you want. Why are you so keen to get Shoreline back? Seriously? Mm. My partner turns my own men against me. My lieutenant makes off with a bounty. Nathan and Samuel Drake get off scot-free and you're asking why I want Shoreline back. Yeah. It was on my watch. I lost it on my watch. What the hell is that thing you keep playing with? It's my stress toy. It showed up in the mail a few weeks after we got to Australia. All right, we better get a move on. We don't want a salve to get ahead of us. You know, I've had my fair share of screw-ups. <laughs> you just pick yourself up and move on. I don't like to say. No one does, love. Let's head back to the car. Gotta love a shortcut. <laughs> Glad we don't have to go back the way we came. I would have made you dodge the axes. Do it. Right. Coming? Right behind you. Let's roll.
Here we go. Coming. Copy that. suppose it takes to carve something like this? Years. Decades, even. Roy Salah certainly did have a knack for stonework. And the war, it seems. That too. They must have made these to commemorate their victories against the Persians. Looks like they put up a good fight. They did. Pity it didn't last. Their loss is our gain, right? That carving looks familiar. That carving is an exact match for the disc. So what does that mean? I don't know yet. But I'm guessing we should give that a try. Should we dance? Try not to break it this time. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to downtown Halabadu. The last known resting place, the Tusk of Ganesh. Spectacular. <sighs> hmm. And what? Doesn't it look like there's a dam or something between the two Ganesh statues? Must have been eroded by the falls. So how do we get in? Hang on. Yeah. Look at the crown. It's not wear and tear. You're right. Maybe it was a watchtower. Bet that's how the Persians got in. I have heard about this place for so long. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually looking at it. You should take a picture. Send it to your dad. <laughs> Great idea. What? You're one of those cultures who can't work a computer? Just take the picture. Show it to him in person then. No, it's uh, just a few decades too late for that. Look, I'm... Oh. Oh, God, please, no. It's fine. <laughs> Shall we, uh, head over to Hullabadoo? 